WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with David White. At uh, just 2 o'clock here, we've got the S&P up about 1.24%. We'll talk about uh, why I was looking kind of at the base at uh, around uh, 39.25 today. We'll talk about that on the show. That was kind of uh, the le kind of the least part of uh, what you should expect. Uh, we'll talk about why 80% of the time uh, the uh, S&P should close over that level on options expiration. Uh, we're also going to talk about the biggest options expiration for a uh, dollar amount back, uh, in fact, uh, more than uh, 10 years ago. So there was an enormous amount of options expiring. And, of course, uh, 80, 85 percent of options are going to go uh, un uh, unexecuted, which means all that money is going to go to money heaven today. Uh, we've got uh, a little bit uh, more than I thought. I thought maybe we it would be a little bit lower than we are right now. thought maybe, you know, 39.30. 39.35 would be a high. Maybe we pull back before the close. Uh, but we continue to get a lot of people short. And as long as everybody keeps shorting the market, it becomes incredibly difficult uh, for it to go lower. What you really want is a significant uh, amount of shorts giving up and throwing in the towel and going long. And that's generally when the market bends and uh, uh, bends a knee. And, of course, that's when uh, the uh, cataclysm actually happens. Anyway, uh, we're going to have um, almost always a ton of volume on a day like that. Uh, right now, we're doing about 7 billion shares, which isn't a whole lot, which is very interesting to me. Uh, but uh, we'll talk about uh, options, uh, what's going on in the market, uh, some big ideas on hydrogen, uh, and uh, interest rates and uh, money down in several sectors uh, that we've talked about over the last few weeks. Uh, kind of a big idea show coming up in just a couple of minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand.